Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is Crypto Elite, home to the number one theta community. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. And coming up very soon, the Crypto Elite Creator Pass is going live with exclusive content, giveaways, and AMAs. In today's video, we are going to be answering a couple questions that have been asked to me about Google Cloud recently partnering with ethereum to provide node service they were asking what is this all about does it have anything to do with theta because i know there's a big partnership between google cloud and theta so let's dig into it in this video and like i said this article has a pretty good overview of what's going on here and it's from coindesk they say google introduces cloud-based blockchain node service for ethereum and we'll talk about it in the past Theta has done something similar. So let's just compare and contrast and see what's going on. And this happened not too long ago. It was just last week, Thursday, this uh, announcement came out and Google Cloud Blockchain said that there will be a fully managed node hosting service that can minimize the need for node operations, meaning that Google Cloud will be responsible for monitoring node activity and restarting them during outages, which is good and bad because as we know, this is moving more towards a centralized nature if you have all of your nodes just put onto one service but it's also helping in a weird way with decentralization just because ethereum is so large there is a big service with amazon web services and a lot of people use them uh, ethereum nodes use amazon web services so now in a weird way is it's more decentralized because you can use Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud. Uh, so it does help decentralization on centralized platforms kind of backwards there. But that's it, it is a pro, a small pro, but it is a, a benefit. So if you're unfamiliar, a node is just a type of computer that runs a blockchain software. So I have a laptop. I used to run it 24 seven. I ran a Theta Guardian node, a Theta Elite Edge node, and it's just something to help provide that decentralization service uh, so that one centralized service isn't running everything but myself in my laptop i can do it from my home you as a viewer you can do it from your home and it helps the overall decentralization of the entire network um, so at the time of the launch google will be supporting ethereum nodes uh, only and i don't think that's 100 percent true so we'll we'll take a look at why that is and compare it to theta and just going through the uh, the background of theta so we can check this out this was an article in 2021 and it just talks to how theta labs has reached the outer limits of video streaming and this is google cloud they were promoting theta um, because they said that they use google's tech which they have from the get-go um, as you can see here big query data flow pub sub and firestore is all different uh, use cases that Theta has been using with Google, along with Google. And they've done a lot of great stuff. And this was just promoting one of the uh, NASA launches that you could watch on Theta TV. Another article, this one is back in 2020, so a little bit older. It's once again talking about how uh, Theta and NASA, they've teamed, or Theta, Google, and NASA, they've all teamed together, worked together, and you could watch this Falcon 9 launch on May 30th, which is great. Um, so there's a lot of background partnership. And then if we go back even further, this is when the partnership first started. So this is Theta Labs announces Google Cloud as an enterprise validator and launch partner for the Theta Mainnet 2.0. So we are right around the corner from Theta Mainnet 4.0 and a lot has changed since then. But we'll rewind back time a little bit and then just check out what happened. So this is talking through what Theta is and how Google Cloud has now joined its enterprise validator program along with Binance, Blockchain Ventures and a lot of other big companies. So Google Cloud is also now the company's preferred cloud provider and users around the world will have the ability to deploy and run Theta nodes directly from Google Cloud Marketplace with just a few clicks. So that's why I was saying in this article, although Ethereum is taking the headline, it's not 100% true. Uh, you can do it with Theta as well. And it's happened since back in 2020. Uh, so they go on to talk about Theta, which I think at this point, if you're watching his videos, you're very familiar with what Theta is. And 
I think these last couple paragraphs are actually pretty important as well. So Theta Mainnet 2.0 and the Theta Guardian Network, a unique decentralized layer of security and consensus run by community members, is now available for users to access via Google Cloud Marketplace. So as part of the partnership, Google Cloud will also power the cloud infrastructure for Theta TV platform. It's a fast growing um, esports at the time built by the Theta Network. Uh, so that is something that happened back in 2020. Very, very important to note. And if we go to Google Cloud right now, we can check out their marketplace. And one of the things, all you have to do is select Explore the Marketplace and then type in Theta. One of the first things that comes up is the Theta Guardian node. And this is a secure, a secure the Theta blockchain by running a Theta Guardian node. So it's just that easy to launch it from the Google website using a virtual machine. Um, so this, I remember in my previous video, I was asking how people were launching virtual machines. I think I found out. So this is one way to do it. And I will actually scroll down and check out the pricing. And this will come back to play in like a minute in this video. So as you can see, the estimated monthly total pricing for running a Theta Guardian node is like 200 bucks on Google. That's a lot uh, once you compare it because before I had no price comparison so that's something I did want to show you the other thing if you search in uh, the Google Cloud marketplace is just the theta cryptocurrency so theta is all over the Google Cloud marketplace there's no uh, it's not hidden and they are a partner they're an enterprise validator still so this is just something that's out there this article is a hundred percent wrong um, the other thing that I wanted to show you circling back to ethereum and this is is the most recent article that came out on October 27th is just introducing blockchain edge node engine, which is the fully managed node hosting for Web3 development on uh, Google Cloud. So this is the, the newest and greatest thing. Once again, if you go back to the Google Cloud Marketplace, search Ethereum, this is one of the first things that pops up, which is now the fastest way to build multi-node private Ethereum networks. And you can launch it really easy. Once again, it's a virtual machine on Google Cloud. But if we scroll down, the huge price discrepancy between running an Ethereum node and a Theta Guardian node the estimated monthly total is only about 25 bucks for Ethereum. So that is something I am curious about. If any of my tech brothers are, or sisters are in the comments and watching this video, can you please let me know why the price discrepancy uh, between running an Ethereum node for 25 bucks versus running a Theta Guardian node for 200 bucks? Um, let me know in the comments below. But Circling back to the original question at hand for the story, that is what's happening with Google introducing cloud-based blockchain node services for Ethereum. And no, they're not kicking the uh, Theta out of the party. Theta is still there. You can still run your Guardian node from um, Google Cloud as well. And they're still very, very integrated. They're still an enterprise validator node. And there's still much more good things to happen in the future now that uh, Google Cloud is really being immersed into cryptocurrency in Web3. So I think that once again is good for the overall space, not just Ethereum, not just Theta, but all different uh, cryptocurrencies in the space. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and I will see you on the next one.